The AIBC Summit is coming up in May and with us to talk a little bit more about what can be expected there and then also some special features that are going to be there. So, Aman, let's start with you. Uh, the founder of the Sigma Group and uh, you, of course, have had all these amazing events. I went to one in Malta in 2019. Now, this one in May will be in Dubai. So kind of give me an overview of what visitors can expect there. Yeah, well, let's start from the basics, right? There hasn't been a real big face-to-face -face show for more than 15 months now. And we're, we take pride in uh, having our team uh, prepped up, ready to go. And I think it's going to be the first big show to take place post-COVID. Um, uh, so we're really looking forward to that. Well, yeah, I am too. I, I think it'll be great to, to see everybody again. And, and what was so cool about the Malta one was um, all the different panelists you had and the guests that were there. And there were cutting edge topics, artificial intelligence, blockchain. I mean, that's what AIBC is, but it was so interesting to hear from these people that are doing such innovative projects. So I'm sure you expect that again in Dubai. Oh, absolutely, that and even more. I can tell you, that the response from the VIP speakers has been overwhelming. Whereas before we had to compete with a string of other big shows, there's literally nothing out there because there's no host country who will accept doing such a big show worldwide, but Dubai. And the Dubai government has been vociferous at tackling this pandemic. It is at the forefront in vaccinating everyone. And so when we went with our proposal to host this big summit, the Dubai government was not only welcoming by sanctioning the show and rubber stamping it, but they're also endorsing the show in terms of sponsorship. So this is a strong message from the Emiratis telling us, guys, we love what you're doing. We want you to stay here. Here's our full support. Mm, awesome. And, and I did read the UAE was number two in world vaccination progress. I think just only behind Israel. So, exactly. um, yeah. So, Maru, um, you and I are going to be doing something very unusual there. I'll let you tell the story about uh -huh. what people can expect. <laughs> oh, you should be an expert by now, Jane. But yeah, I mean, Iman and me, we go back a long time. And I was going to do a special world launch of a project that I'm going to talk to you about. And then I said, wow. What a better way to do it with internal family with the Sigma group and the ARBC group that, as you know, uh, I've spoken at many times. And what we are doing is making the world's first tokenized stand. But that's just a phase one of the whole project that we've been working on for over 18 months, which is my tokenized capital. So we are trying to get people to be their own coin and we are trying to absolutely disrupt the wealth distribution model, which people now, especially in the COVID times, have realized that we, the product, don't generally get a fair share and a fair slice of what our true worth is. Even if you look at it from basics like Facebook, Google, where you, the product, don't get any share of the ads that come to you. So we are disrupting that whole model in our 80-20 uh, model where everything uh, that is profit 80% uh, goes back to the community. But on top of that, we are trying to make this stand at AIBC Dubai with Iman's help and support as well. We've taken the biggest stand there and all emerging uh, and uh, tech and deep tech AI types of organizations who wants to showcase their product or company or service, whatever it is, we will NFT their collateral. We will give them some NFT as well for being part of the sponsors. We will do a perfect interview with yourself, Jane King, who's gonna fly out from New York with the NASDAQ background. And we will NFT that interview for them as well, based on the sponsorship level of five, 10, 15%. So for the first time, when people go to exhibition, and I'm sure Iman will agree, everyone complains about, oh, we didn't get this out of it. We didn't get this coverage. We didn't get any cards. They get thrown out. This time we give them collateral. We give them footage. We're doing a production video, which will be the first 100 days collection of the whole event. And all this gets wrapped into an NFT where they get a share of the profit for being the founding sponsors of this event. 
and a lot more benefit. So it's not one of it. We've been developing a special community rewards protocol app for this. So people will get recurring revenue and profit on all future events, uh, events that we're going to do with uh, Iman and his team as well. Okay. Well, I think it sounds cutting edge and, and very exciting and I'm uh, eager to learn more about it. So um, Maru, real quick, how can people find out more about the NFT stand? And then we'll go back to Iman before we finish. I mean, it's on the uh, Iman's uh, uh, AIBC uh, uh, press website. Uh, anyone can ping me on Maru, M-R-U at my tokenized with a Z, American style, dot com. So my tokenized cap, dot capital, sorry, my tokenized dot capital. And uh, add me on LinkedIn, ping me. There's news everywhere now. Yeah. Okay. And then Iman, how can people find out more about the AIBC Summit? Slightly easier domain to follow. It's sigma.world. Okay. And we have all information there. So we have over a thousand people subscribed so far. There's seven weeks left of the show. We're expecting close to 4,000 people, which is no, no, no small feat considering what's going on worldwide. But I can tell you one thing. People are hungry to do business face-to-face. -face. They're sick and tired of doing business over Zoom. <laughs> and uh, that's me included. And I can't wait to welcome everyone with arms wide open. Yes, I totally agree. And let's do another uh, interview in maybe a month as the show takes form. We could talk a little yes. bit more about the NFT and uh, we can update everybody a, a good few weeks before the show in late May. So yes, and what we should do as well, Jane, is nearer the time, uh, create a build up with uh, some of Iman's key uh technology speakers, I've, I'm getting together some amazing team from all ERCs and, um, and also to uh, promote the show worldwide uh, with AIBC regarding why it's so different to some of the other shows that are out there. I mean, that's one of the reasons why we chose this platform as well. Awesome. Guys, I'll tell you one thing, if I can slip this in, the buzzing atmosphere that's going on in Dubai is overwhelming, right? There's so many great minds uh, moving into Dubai, me included. I'm no great mind, but I, I've realized what's going on in the region. And uh, it's safe to say I'm calling it my home starting 2021. Mm -hmm. So there's a, lot of, there's a lot to talk about, not only from the NFT point of view, DeFi, all the emerging tech that's coming out, but there's also a lot to talk about the Emirates. You know, what is the UAE doing to come out at the forefront and call itself the blockchain hub worldwide. There's a lot going on, and I think people will find this very, very interesting as well. Yeah. So if I can add to that as well, you know, I've been in touch with the people. I've been in Dubai Res for over 12 years uh, and uh, very close to some of the big thought leaders there, but more importantly, close to a big network there. So our stand is not about NFT as such. It's about emerging technology showcases, but we are making the stand NFT in many ways so people can get something back out of it. And uh, adding to what uh, Iman is saying as well, because it's so safe over there in terms of uh, vaccinations, the way people even enter into the country and test it, it is uh, seen as a world hub now for doing any major conferences and exhibitions. And what Sigma and AIBC are doing uh, to relocate, which is great to hear, um, I think that show will become even bigger. I mean, I can easily see the next event at 10,000 when it really opens yeah. up. Mm -hmm. For sure. Well, and I can tell you from being at the AIBC Summit in Malta, there are some big thinkers there and some really yeah. smart people. And it was just really interesting to hear their thoughts about the future. So thank you so much, Iman and Maru. And I look forward to talking to you again in the near future.